Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to RC Pilots Lounge. We're not going to give this one a number. This is the special Monday night edition. Uh, we do want to make sure you're here, so we're going to let the room fill in a little bit before we get to cracking. Got Bobby K in the house with us. Um, just waiting to see what's popping. Hey, there it is. All right, good. We'll see some buddies coming in here in a minute. I'm certain. And we're going to refresh the chat. There we go. Awesome. Ethan RC says hello. Victor Shamulus, Jeff's Custom RC, Bobby K. <laughs> Uh, hey, hey what? Brian K, Mav Pro, what's going on? Brad BRC, Mrs. Boozer, Warbird Fanatic, what up, Ryan? Can't wait. We're going to keep this one uh, short, concise, and to the point. It's a Monday night special edition. Uh, the star of the show is the E Flight F 18. Eric Quinn, what's up? Steve Coggins, how are you, man? We talked today via Messenger and stuff. George Watts, uh, Thomas Milano, what is up, my friend? Uh, we spoke as well, yes, about the E-Flight F4, like last night and this morning a little bit. Jeff Tui, what is happening? Skip Bill, good to see you, my friend. Plastic Aviator, good to see you. Uh, a lot of my Instagram friends uh, saw we posted this. Hello. Facebook friends as well. Special Monday edi edition, RC Pilots Lounge. Uh, Jack Miller, Dave Kowischke, RC Fly by Mike, Jeff's Custom RC. Yes, man. Uh, so close to toast. Uh, Ed Malabag. Kevin Farros uh, says hello. Randy, Michael Rajka, great. <laughs> We've got 19 folks in here right away. It's 9.02. Um, you know what we're here to do? We, we have not opened the box, which was very hard uh, to not open the box because uh, I really want to see uh, what it looks like. But, you know, we got it hooked up. We got Bobby K. Um, who's going to put it together, give you a nice scan of the parts, top cam style. And um, I can't wait to see it. Brian, uh, and you guys who are coming in late, you haven't missed anything yet. This is going to be a replay. A lot of times I unlist these live streams because they're just too long. Um, it'll kill us on YouTube, but they're there if you want them in the podcast and live streams playlist unlisted. You have to go to the home channel, homepage of YouTube, and you can get there. Sky Blazer, Emmanuel, RC Jet, got yours today, Will Nate 35, Vincent, a lot of guys I haven't seen before. Good to see you. Bobby, you ready to get cracking, man? I'm ready to crack it open. Let's go. All right. E-Flight F18 80 millimeter in runner. Let's look at a couple picks real fast while we get Bobby kind of cracking a little bit. But this is a nice shot of this beauty in the air. Um we can't wait to get ours in the air and and i've really taken a good look at some of the pictures and i a little bit know what to expect but not to a huge degree i did notice one of my favorite things which is those plastic leading edges on the wing root glove of course you can't have been following the f-18 and not seen these fantastic exquisite already painted white landing gear Jeff Tui, thank you so much for that. Um, look at that baby. Look at those gear. Okay, we're going to go top shot. And are you ready, my friend? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, we are... Um, here we are, over the top. I'm, it's going to be hard for me to look at the comments a little bit today because I am so interested in seeing this plane that I might hop back and uh, help Bobby a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness I'm going back there with them all right let's do it if you can't hear me back there let me know with like crazy emojis I'll come back up here to the microphone but this microphone usually picks up everything quite well um, I'm gonna blow this up just a little bit for you guys um, Oh my word, Bobby K. I cannot oh, this wait. Thing is sweet. Oh my goodness. I can't watch it from the screen. I gotta go back here with you. Oh. Oh my goodness. And we're C, we're small. 
down there. Hey guys, we are over the top, man. Yes. Did you cut this loose yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the that side. Should be cut. Yeah, it's a side. Yeah, deal. side deal. Yeah, it should be cut loose for the most part. Let's see. I think it's got a couple pieces. Oh man, dude. Smell it. <laughs> oh, I know. Smell the new planes. Yes, you got some of it. It looks good. Oh, my word. It's bigger than what I thought. I tell you what, I, you know what, I was at the office today when the uh, the FedEx guy came. Were you? Yes. You had an earful? He did. <laughs> oh, Bobby. Here, you have one. I'll look at the other one. Oh, cool. It's, it's, uh, I really don't mind that. I don't either. I, I was wondering how the wings went because if it was going to be hard point yep. connection or not. Um, sweet. Curious. Yeah, I was curious about that too. Oh, my. my Detail's nice right. too. I like, let's see. Can you guys see that? Yeah. So we got the screw on back plate for the servos. Look at the lenses for the lights, and then you've got the um, the ornaments will just slide in here. I love these lenses. We'll give you a good look at this, baby. Ball link clevises. Here's our uh, notches for sliding in our ordnance. Flaps pre-installed. Yeah. Uh, I brought the phone back so we can see what the people are saying, too. Oh, good. Because I cannot from here. But I just have to look at this plane. All right. Top of the wing. Here's uh, our wires. This is all plastic up in here, uh, here as well, and then the top. Yeah, that's nice. It's got nice wheel oh. lights too. As soon as I, we get it all done, uh, we can put the parts back and then maybe you slap it together. But I've got to see this unboxing deal. Heck yeah. And there's, you know, there's, there's plenty to share here. Two of everything. Two of everything. No, 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 Batman. <laughs> You guys, can you see that? I'm even right side up. Look at that. That's striking. I like it. Some really nice plastic um, hard points here. Yeah, they're really Mounting into the fuselage. Again, ball links. Super killer. Everything's pre-installed, too. Everything's ready to go. It's got the slimers on it, too, over the bat. Those uh, faux lights. Sweet. What's next, Bobby K? The stab. Yes. Holy moly, Spicoli. Now, look at this. You, we haven't really seen it, but we kind of have a good idea of what's going to happen here, right? Oh, yeah. So, probably the aft end of the fuse has a post sticking out of the empennage, and then um, like a cover plate that'll screw in nice yep. and flush. And there's probably, see this slot there? Yeah, I'm sure there's a... Uh, Little keeper collar? Yep. Yeah. You show them the top or the bottom? Yeah, yeah. Look at this. That Solid. Spars in it, you can see. Oh, wow, it looks like the leading edge has one as well. Leading edge yep. um, knockouts, like, for the spar to hold the hold downs in the mold. And then there's a couple more. I can't take it anymore. We got to get this fuse out of here. I know. It's I know. killing me looking at it. Look at that. Oh, man. This, the, I'll take the book up here with me. Even it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look at that later. Books are for reading. Looks like there might be a little addendum. Oh, Bobby. Not really much hardware. No, just be screws. I don't even know if there's any glue to the assembly. There might be for some of those antennas and things. You never know. Yeah. You want to pop out this ordinance? Yep, yep. Uh, we'll show them one of each. So here's here are these. What's really neat, I actually uh, haven't seen this. Where are you guys able to see it? Look at the panel lines and everything. All the detail on these standoffs. Yeah, that's pretty. pretty uh, pylons. Sweet, man. Wing tips. Guys are going to go nuts, I think, customizing this one. I mean, oh, it's yeah. got a scheme, but it's also so close to base gray, you could go crazy. Yep. Here's the, okay. It looks like there's just, oh, that's for the, uh, certainly that's for the uh, elevator, the horizontal stab, some of those plastic uh, hold downs. Yep, and the collars. Oh, yeah. And the collars. Okay. Holy smokes, man. Are you guys having fun? 
It's, it's, I can't see the comments, but I'll come see you in a minute. Blow it up with emojis if you're liking this unboxing. I'm liking this unboxing. Holy moly. Nose cone. Nice little nose cone. Now it's got it's plastic on the tip and it's yep. plastic right there. Can they see it? Good. Show them up close, real good. Yeah. <laughs> Turn it, there you go, so they can see that plastic tip and then this top. Look at that, that's great. These look great too. Yeah, this thing's sweet. Oh my word. I tell you, I've got experience with the 70, the 90. Here's America. America. I'm a little confused on which way. I'm like halfway upside down. Moment of truth, my friend. Are you ready? I am ready. Oh my goodness. Oh. This is where it's at. Man, a lot of this is done for you already. Yeah. So it looks like the best thing to do is lift the aft end up and then pull out the nose. Holy smokes. Oh my goodness, Bobby. Hey. Dude, that thing Grab this sweet. foam. Grab this big white foam out of here, will you? What did we miss? Oh, nice. Come off in transit. Oh, yeah, little tiny antenna. Torpedo. Look Maybe. at this, y'all. Yeah, that thing is sweet. Dude, that's a good looking F 18. It is. It's and way bigger than this. This antenna is already on here. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm trying to give you a nice slow pan. I like the wing walks are already on here. Brass threaded inserts. Oh, Bobby, check this out. They got the. Aileron and flaps, oh, uh, hard pointed yes. here, but wires in the wings. That's and, cool. That's new. You see that, guys? Yeah, Bobby's pointing at it. Right there, yeah. the servo connections. That is awesome. That's neat. So it's wires on the wing, and then you can plug them in right there. Again, brass threaded inserts. This feels sturdy. Nice. Let's see those gear. Oh my goodness. I like these nozzles yeah, with the, the flat finish. Nice too, Before yeah. I flip it over, because that's what I want to see too. I want to I want to see this. Um, put the nose cone on? Put the nose cone on and I want to see in the battery bay. Nice. Look, look at this. Plenty of room. There is. There really is. Yeah. You guys, can you see that room? Dude, it's actually like pretty comparable size to the 90. I can't wait till we get them both in the same room together. Yeah. Actually, the same field together will be <laughs> even better. Oh my goodness, this feels solid, guys. Oh, yeah. This does not, it feels really strong up here. Um, look at this plastic leaning edge on the wing root extension, Bobby. Oh, see, that's gonna That's be where you always get yeah. a hanger rash the yeah. worst, right? That is awesome. A little breathing hole so when it comes up from the sea floor, it mm -hmm. can take a breath right here. <laughs> now, I'm not sure what we're going to see underneath, but we'll let's get after it. Oh, oh man. We're going to Oh yeah, see that little antenna. That's what you found yeah. in the box, yeah. that one right there. Yeah. See I'm that little I'm sending it back, off. man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh wow. That's all we're missing is, I mean, it's in the box with a little pedo yep. tube right there. Those gear, gear doors. doors. Yeah, man. We're going to try to get this together and drop these gear for you. Um, I love that they're wide crazy. already, dude. Look at these big beefy metal trains. Can you guys see this? They beefed it up for this one, dudes. Yeah, dude, this thing's sweet. They beefed it up. And you know how a lot of times on the main retracts, there's those four little tiny screws I always tell you I'll put glue on? Not on this one. Oh, look at this elevator situation. This will be, I'll try to show this. See this um, oh, nub oh. on the servo arm? That's different. That's going to work with that linkage, yep. that plastic cradle screw down over yeah. the bar or whatever. Yep. Bobby. All right, one let's crack into the book and get this baby going. I'm going to go sit back down.
You good with that? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Holy smokes. You just get out of here and leave me to work. <laughs> um, I'm going to get you to step one, all right? All right. Oh, my goodness. Pilots, did, did you, if, you, if there's anything else you want to see, we'll have Bobby give you a close-up. Oh, my word. Yeah, Brian K. I mean, there's only so much you can do. You know, the, they'd have to set them so deep that they would lose some kind of scale fidelity, I think, in the way with those wheels. But I'm happy with it. Laugh out loud, says Fred. I just knocked mine off tonight, taking it to the field just to get rejected. Oh, yeah, you got weathered out, didn't you? Crazy Ace to see you later, my friend. Oh, Jeff Tui, yes, I cannot wait to get those gear dropped. Don Willman, what is happening, farmer man? Andrew Williams, what is up, brother from another mother? We got Bobby K over here getting it done. I'm going to open you up to... Um, Dave, you, I'm going to open you up to the uh, instructions. Right. It may be something to do, you know. I, if you're if you're committed, I think we can get it done. Oh, without a doubt. But here, check it out. If you want to follow the book, All right. it looks like the horizontal is first. Yep. I do think the livery could be changed really easy, guys. Oh, sure. By the way. I really, really do. And I'm going to move this up just a hair. And I'm going to move. Oopsie. I'm trying to tweak it a little, y'all. Let's see. I'm trying to find somewhere good to go. Flag goes on the speed brake. Yep. RC Jetworks, what is going on, my friend? The fit and finish is pretty awesome, especially the fitment. You, you liking mean, it? Well, so instead of you just pressing into foam, they actually made. Let's see if I can pick this thing up. Let me make me really small here so we can see everything you're doing. So they actually made your inserts here where the vertical goes in. It's plastic. It's not just foam that it presses into. They were, they were actually thinking outside the box. So you have a nice smooth finish or uh, fitment. It's something plastic to... That's really not because the bottom of the verticals are plastic as well. Yeah. So they're not going to be sitting there yeah, wallowing so around. plastic. You guys see that good? Man. Kevin Farrow says, loving the Super Viper. Uh, he says to Andy, uh, RC Jet works in the house. James Sala, I appreciate that comment. Thank you so much. David Snyder, can't wait till mine gets here this week. It will be a nice break for my giant scratch build, Tomcat. Wow. Honey Chuck, yes. Uh, goodness sakes, love it. I'm doing a mod to use the rudders as an air brake. Nice. Yeah, Andy, I think they flew it a lot this weekend, the Super Viper, by the way. Oh my goodness, Fred Barron, good to see you. You guys, Monday special, surprise show. Um, we really thought this was gonna be here Saturday. Well, zip -lock and stapled the bags. Those things are Ziplocked and stapled. Holy moly spicoli. I'm gonna get you a, a brand new model on the DX9 right here i'm gonna go ahead and get get you uh get a model all right so it looks like all the long boys are for your verticals and your wings This thing's gonna be together, y'all. Oh, yeah. yeah, you know, in the Midwest, it's starting to get, it's starting to get, you know, not nice. But um, we won't let it stop us, that's for sure. You're not supposed to do builds while I'm working. Well, we're gonna leave this one up 
you know, uh, hopefully it's not too long a one and you guys will enjoy it as just a standalone video. We're not going to go hours like we normally do um, on our regular live stream night. Wild Bill wants to know if any of you guys are balsa builders, kit builders. Uh, he wants to follow you. So um, answer in the comment section for Wild Bill with a bunch of emojis if you're uh, a balsa builder, um, kit builders, old school kind of that, that way. Dave Marshall says, uh, may have missed it earlier. This USMC squadron is based out of Japan. Paint scheme on the verticals is the Japanese Rising Sun battle flag. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, that reminds me of me and Mike on that uh, Japanese Zero video. Dennis Farley, what's going on? Mike Kennedy says he does balsa. Wreck It Rob's RC, I know he does um, those as well. Um, there's a lot to see there. David King's building a SIG. There's a lot of guys doing wood more than you would think, so I'm glad you asked. Let's see. Um, yep, let's go. Model type. I'm sure it wants you to do aircraft. Are you using the manual right now? Uh, not really. I'll tell you what's next. If you wanna, if you wanna know, let me let me tell you. So I'm gonna look at the radio setup deal. So you've done the verticals. Yeah. They, they showed the horizontals first, but I don't think it's a deal breaker. Um, yeah. Raven Rock, what's happening? Farmer Man had a crosswind of a day. That'll happen. If you're going to fly, it's going to happen. Looking for the radio setup. There we go. This is so easy. You guys mind if I set up the radio while he's building it? Love RC. What's going on? We're going to show you how easy it is to do. I mean, I'm going to set up the radio. He's going to build it. We'll be ready to go. Yes, RC Jet works. Absolutely. Let's talk about that. All right. Aircraft, do it. Let's name it. I feel guilty that I'm setting it up, but I want to be ready to rock, man. Here we go. F eighteen. Aircraft type. One aileron, one flap. A lot of times that's what's up, isn't it? I like that. Yeah. Done. Check. The F-18 video. Thank you, RC Jetworks. Um, the uh, the um, the F-18 video at Horizon is inspiring, is it not? The music and everything, and then um, Pete on the quad getting the shots. I assume it's Pete uh, and probably Allie flying. So, uh, yeah, great video. Check that out. Uh, and then we're going to make one as soon as we can. Okay, aircraft type, set channel assign. So easy to deal with, you guys. So channel five to switch A. Which it always is for gear. Yep. And then six, yep, flaps.
it's like already ready to go. Yeah, she's close. You know what I mean? And then uh, we can do, let's see, what do they want me to do? Function list. So go out of here. And we're setting up flaps right now. Just by the book. We're doing it right now. Kevin Farrow says, loving his RC Jetwork 6,000, 6-cell, 6C batteries and roaring top 5,500s. Brian, can't wait to see our review. I can't wait either. Uh, you, yeah, we need real-life grass takeoff videos. My E-Flight F-16. Let me try to see what you said. Can't get off the grass in my local club field. Some of the 70s are going to have trouble, perhaps, because of the uh, smaller wheels and all. Fred Barron says 70 to 78 millimeters from the leading edge, 10% up mix on takeoff flaps and 15 full flaps, 4 millimeter up on the elevator from the seam to start. Cool. I suppose that's in the book as well. Adrian Winship. We're going to maiden it, John, as soon as we can. Uh, let's see. Adrian, I want to see you guys do a review. Yours are some of the best in the industry. Can't decide on this or F4. Get them both. <laughs> Adrian, appreciate you. Thank you so much for that. Awesome. So, function list. How are you doing over there, my friend? We're going. Bobby's getting it done. What do you think about having the Pilot Ryan show with more than just me? I love it. Man, a lot of new faces in here. Hey, you guys who are new, I hope you're subscribers. So um, you, you don't miss anything, guys. I don't care about the numbers. I just don't want you to miss anything. Oh, Kevin Farrow has already got his eyes on the F-16 from uh, HSD from Mandy at Jetworks. Bledsoe Trains, what is going on? Good to see you. We got 101 folks in here on a Monday night. Really? Yep. All right. How about that? Flap system. Switch D. What up? Now, here we go. We're setting it up. So I tell you what, we're going to be ready to go. I haven't even used the manual. I'm just kind of going. When, if you need anything, let me know. Uh, let's see. We're setting it up right this minute. I love it that they have the mixes in here. Now, the the call outs are a great point of reference, but they're not they don't have to be gospel. Um, but I love it for a place to start. And everybody has their preferences and things and, and you might end up landing somewhere else. Now, because of having prior experience with F sixteens, I feel really confident that what we look at um, will kind of match and or make sense with some of the other F-18s we've been flying. So Fred called out, I think, some different numbers. I I'm going to go stock, though, for the moment. Um, see you, Jeff. People leaving? Thumbs it up on your way out. Yeah, Farmer Man, there's going to be some... <laughs> there, there's, there's a long list. We'll have, maybe someday... Really, coordination is a humongous thing. And I've got plans um, for Saturday. So let's see. The speed is probably going to be two seconds. It always is. Love it. What's taking you so long, Bobby? <laughs> I'm just tricking. Uh, let's see. Oh, I love it. So they talk about the timer on here. Not necessarily, you know, I, I'm going to probably go for not unless I'm missing it. I'm going to probably go for my default three minutes, three and a half minutes. And then we're going to see about uh, what our cells look like. Um, also, the travel on the flaps need to be set. So you can't miss that. Let's see. Flap system. But I need to go to servo, right, for that. Don't you? Model adjust. Digital flap system. Mixing sequencer.
channel assign trim setup model utilities I'm missing it where's it at How's it going, guys? Sorry, we're setting up this bird. I'm going to go back to uh, Bobby. Where's the plane, man? Sorry. <laughs> hey, when the plane comes up, you can see him this way. When the plane comes back up on top, we'll, uh, you need any help, let me know. We're good. It's just difficult to stand. There we go. We're good. I use two different radios, so sometimes I have to really think, where is the function list model adjust on my DX9? The tra I need the travel screen. Model type, model name, nope, aircraft, nope. Channel assignment, let's see what's there, nope. Trim setup, no. Let's go model utilities, no. Warnings, telemetry, pre flight setup, nope. Maybe it's not on this one, on the nine. Travel, why is that so hard for me right now? Servo setup. I did that, Michael Roshka. Go to flap system and set percentages, Ryan. I did that for the, the throws, but the uh, – let me go servo set up here. There we go. It's the first thing. That's why. What a fool. All right. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Travel on flaps. So we're doing it by the book. They say up 100, down 125. All right, so there we go. Up 100. It's a minus. Is there a minus or it's just zero? I guess we'll see when we plug it in, huh? Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm done building it before he's done programming. Are you done building it already? Yeah, I'm not getting on on travel uh, a minus 100. There's a zero. We'll we'll just have to see here, won't we? go with a hundred and see what we get oh yeah are you built built we are built holy smokes I want to at least try to get these flaps such trouble with that man it's time to bind it up dude we fix the flaps in a minute why am I having trouble with this get those gear down the negative 125 is possible if you assign it to a switch it, it is assigned to a switch flaps are on D where they said to put it travel yeah man 
I'm there. Why is it doing this to me, Bobby? Because we're trying to build a plane. That's crazy. Why is it doing this? I'm about to reset the son of a gun. Everything. What's Ox 3? Alright. Well, it keeps jumping at both things. I think it's because I got I did the flap system stuff first. Yeah, I know. I was trying to get ahead of the thing, uh, Andy. Let's see. I don't want to screw it up though. Let's see. System setup. Yeah, I'm sure. Model select. We're doing a new one. Forget it. We're going right here. Brand new one. Model type. We know it's an airplane. Yes. Model name we'll get later. Remember 12. <laughs> okay. Bobby? 12? 12. Gotcha. One aileron, one flap. All right, we'll do the other stuff later. We're going to get this baby bound up. Are you ready? Oh, I've been ready. Been ready do the flap day. travel and flap setup menu. All right, Dave, we'll try that. Um, I'll get it. I always do. I mean, it's not my first day. Let's go to the top, shall we? Bam. Look at this baby. Holy, you got the decal on and everything, Vanna, Bobby. Hey, our, this is our RC Jetworks 4000 we got laying around. I feel like I should be on the prices right or something. Everybody see it. 107 folks in here. Guys, we're going to show you something here in a minute. Man, look at this, baby. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm about to come back here with you, man. I want to see it. All right, you got it ready for buying. Um, yeah, hold on, let me turn it off. I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way. Let me get, dude. Are you seriously done? I'm ready to go, man. Oh my gosh, look at this. Around. Hey, we'll bring the the other one over for um, Saturday to take a look. Oh yeah, dude, fire in the hole, man. Fire in the hole. Yeah, we're going. Fire in the hole. And we're just gonna bind it up regular style. First try. All right. Oh. oh, wait, okay. Um. Oh my gosh, do we need a bigger shot? Hold on, let me fix the shot, Bobby. Let me see if I can't fix it to get the... Can you guys see the whole plane? And then we can lift it up to show them the... Uh, the... Uh, oh, yeah. He says you, he thinks you got the flag on backwards. Too late now. No, nope, no. Nope, nope. It's supposed to be like that. Even the real one's like that. It's That's how it is on the box. Can't, yeah, be, too. That's can't be wrong. So, can you guys see what's up? We got elevator. We haven't set any rates yet. And so you know the ele what? so the elevator you can't get wrong. Yeah. The posts are threaded, right? And um, let's get this lid on here, and we're gonna flip it over. Ailerons are working. I gotta set up the flaps. Everything's working, but I haven't done the flap system yet, so we're not going to be seeing that yet. Bobby, you want to flip it over, and oh, we yeah. will do the... And um, you know why that flag's like that? 
Because so when they put the air brake up, it looks like it's hanging. Yes, I get sweet. it. It was a pain in the butt to get on there. I bet. Oh my word. And this you can see a... the lights on both sides, which oh, is really cool. You guys can see the gear. See what you, you got there for the shot, Bobby? Here we go. First shot on the gear. You ready? Takes a minute. Probably takes twice. Sometimes you have to do it. Yep. Yep. Just kind of initializing the gear. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Dude, and the gear are white. Yeah, already. Dude, out of the box. They're metal. Yes, of course. The whole thing's metal. Oh wow, look how soft. Holy smokes. Holy smokes is right. Turn it sideways real quick for you. Oh my goodness, man. Here, do the compression again for these guys. Can you guys see this? This is neat. Oh, I know guys are going to want to stiffen these up, maybe some guys, but man, Dude, I think that's great. I foresee some carrier landing oh, in the future. Look how big and beefy these trunnions are. It's and then these are these doors are mechanically uh, actuated. That's awesome. Which is nice. Are you ready to see them cycle again, guys? Here we go. <laughs> Get out of town. Man, Here, I'm going to drop them again so we can set it on its gear. Hey, show them the elevator, Bobby. <laughs> Holy smokes, man. Can you guys see that mechanism? Uh, I know it's hard to hold it up. But can you <laughs> see? There you go. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. Look at how they put that together. Oh my word. Yeah, there's some engineering in this. Bifurcated ducts, of course. In runner, 80 millimeter. <laughs> Woo! It just blew my stinking hat off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gear down. You ready? We'll show them again. Um, oh my word. Here we go. Gear down. Man. What a beaut. Oh, I got to get into the flap system real quick. Holy, look how that sits down. That is... Holy smokes, dude. I can't get over the gear. I know. Look how scale the front gear look. Dude. Yeah, this thing's sweet. I, I'm, I am curious to see it on grass with those gear. How, hell, Man, I think it's got a chance of doing pretty good. Go Maiden now, guys. <laughs> Oh my Lanta. Jeez. All right, I'm going to see if I can't kind of fix this shot a little bit. Oh man, it looks so good. I hate to make it go away. You guys getting a load of that? The missiles on the body come molded on. Um, who asked that? Kevin? Yes. They come molded on like the E-Flight F4 do, but then the other ordnance is easy to um, change. You guys want to kind of see it stand in here like this or the top shot. I think the top shot's where top it's at right awesome. now, dude. Look at that beaut. Oh, man, Vincent, uh, on the Horizon video, the compression of the struts looked awesome on landing. Like my friend Just Wingett says, it lands like a butterfly with sore feet. I love that expression. <laughs> um, Got to run. Andy, see you later. Just want to stop by. Thanks for coming. Uh, we'll talk later, man. Good to see you, RC Jetworks. Papa Boozer. I think just got done Papa dotting Kevin's F4 today. He flight F4. Ryan O, see you later. Um, it's okay. You know what? This was a surprise show. The tiller arm is the same as the F4, like butta, but can be bent back to straighten it. Okay. Um, how much travel on the main sitting there? Uh, they sit all the way down. Yeah, they do. Right? It's Yeah, you're going to bottom out. They're bottomed out on, on, on there like that. Real That's it neat, dude. Can they here? Let me go side shot and see if they can do that again. Can they see a little bit? Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't done it yet. I haven't moved it. All right, there we go. 
Oh my goodness. There may be a way to get in there and throw a spring in it for, it for guys that yeah, are yeah. into it. But you don't want it so springy that it's sitting jacked up in the back. It'll yeah. screw your angle of attack. Yeah, then you're going to get tippy. I'm, we're going stock. Dude! It looks even better in person, guys. It looks even better in per, uh, person. Let me look at this flap system. It's sweet. Oh my goodness. So travel is not in this. Man, why can't it be daylight? I know, right? Man, I'm feeling pretty sick. I might not be able to make it to work tomorrow. Right? <laughs> I must have done something not right on here. Man, that thing's cool. We'll get the flap sorted later. Man, that looks awesome. Dudes. Don't want it slamming the ground either. Yeah, you know, you could always put softer tires on it if it, if it was a concern. You know, you could throw some... Um, you probably get some Dave Browns on there or something. They're, they look so scaled, though. Look yeah, at those I tires. Think, I don't think you're going to need it. I don't either. And look at that plastic leading edge on the extension. How are the intakes? Oh, that rolls good. Oh, yeah, it rolls good. Dude, I can't get over how scale the gear are. The intakes are sweet, too. It's all so scale. And oh, what's really cool is even the inside of the intakes are white in there. Are they? Yeah, just like the real boy. Yep, they sure are. You, man, you know what? Guys talk about not getting the other pilot and stuff, but, you know, you can always get one. But that pilot looks good. Yeah, he does. That cockpit doesn't look bad in yeah. there. And dude, the landing gear being white, inside of the intakes being white. That's, that's sweet. Like, yeah, it's awesome. RC Shockman. Uh, what did I miss? Bobby with the puke emojis. She's a beaut, Clark. Guys, we're going to wrap it in like 10. You know what? We're, we're looking at an hour show. That's it. All right. We're going to wrap it up in a little while. Monday special edition uh, with the F-18. We got it built. Um yeah, sorry, man, Cave. You have to. Saturday's kind of really the night. I mean, we both got to work early in the morning and stuff. But I just we couldn't let this one go. Um, what about Saturday night, Kevin? What I miss? John Noons. Uh, his arrives on Thursday. Uh, killer. Flap elevator mix flaps down mix in up elevator correct whatever it says. It, it it's going to be very similar to what the free wing one says. And I remember up elevator on that one and i think i probably talked about it in the uh videos we made of the free wing um f-18 oh yeah somebody's saying that you're gonna be sick tomorrow bobby that's what it is <laughs> i might be make it rain people says mitchell farley no no don't rain we want to fly <laughs> I, I got you sit in here for a minute bobby sorry Taking in the sights, I couldn't help. It. I know, right? I'm ta I'm taking in the sights from here. I'm trying to see it, uh, like behind us. <laughs> Visa plans. Victor Shameless, F four three eighty two. Oh, cool. Yeah, there's a lot of um, there's promotions going on, guys. There's percentages off on some of these Horizon planes at your favorite retailers. Hobby Zone. Go to PilotRyanMedia.com. Click on your favorite brand, and it'll take you right there uh, with uh, affiliate links and all. Someone asking about the shows. Um, thank you, Kevin. We do this show Saturday night, 9 o'clock, every Saturday. We've done 62 weeks in a row. But, I mean, it's a supplement to what we do and really love to do, which oh, is yeah. fly these things. But we love flying them so much that when we can't fly them, we're here to talk about Heck it. Yeah. Talk about it, teach, give information, let you know what works for us. Um, he's been flying for a very long time. Back gas, balsa, stick builds. When, when electric started coming out, um, you kind of never turn back. Yeah. And then I've been at it for a while as well and um, been making media solid since 2012, uh, either magazine or video. So, yeah, stick around, guys. Yeah. Kevin Farrow says, Ryan, says Bobby was trying to hide the jet under his jacket. That's what he's standing around milling, <laughs> milling around back here. Giving me up. Uh, 
Oh, cool, man. We got a... a hey, Man Cave Chronicles, thank you so much for that. Anytime um, you guys have questions, hit us up in the comment section. You can find us on Messenger. Yep. Um, pretty soon, we'll be completely fleshed out on the website where you can access us. Um, an email, probably info at pilotryanmedia.com, and we can handle it there. But um, really... Comment sections of YouTube, we're yep. dialed in. It comes up on our phone immediately. Direct message on Instagram or Facebook, Bobby Kamita or Pilot Ryan, otherwise known as Ryan Ramsey on Facebook. <laughs> I'm to, just you, Bobby K. Bobby K? You, I thought you had to use oh, your no, full no, name no, on Facebook. Name. Yeah, I do have my full name. Larry Watson made in his havoc today. That's excellent. George Watts, uh, thank you so much. We really don't want to keep you. Because I really wanted it to be all about the F-18 today. A uh, special show. Douglas Carr, we're going to maiden this thing as soon as we can. We've got a lot of other projects that are staring us in the face. <laughs> but new products take priority. So um, you'll be seeing this one coming out with many of the other things uh, and brands we're working with products. So Dime Spitfire is coming around the mountain when she comes. Oh yeah. The FMS Beaver version 2 we built on the show, he built on the show last Saturday. Hit that like button, subscribe, yeah. do all that stuff. Go to pilotryanmedia.com where everything we do is consolidated, all right? Every social, Amazon store, all the relationships we have, everything is in one place. You can get to the Instagram there, the Teespring store for merchandise, shirts, and things like that, yep. and and all the brands we work with, and eventually a newsletter. So sign up for that if you'd like. Um, a sneak peek. What are you talking about, Dennis? <laughs> got to pay extra for that. Mitchell Farley <laughs> says, "Awesome man cave that got us like thirty more minutes." <laughs> oh man, I gotta cut it because uh, I don't want to make it too long. Seriously, there's eight minutes left of the show. I really am going to keep it at an hour this time and if you make it rain like crazy I'll, I'll go live again but i'm not going to mess up this one making it four hours <laughs> um guys dudes yeah, let's go top sweet, shot again man. real quick it's awesome let's go top shot again real quick i'm going to go back there and turn that thing around and play with this top shot camera bobby you read the comments for a minute oh yeah i can't get over it i can't get over it it's a pretty plane it is a pretty plane. I can't wait till it flies. Guys, I've told you, if you've been around, you know that the 70 millimeter F-18 made me know how much I was going to be into the 90. Let's me know how much I'm going to love the 80. Haven't flown the Beaver yet. Getting around to it. 80 millimeter in runners have been performing really well. I believe this is the same um, motor that's in the uh, Havoc, is it not? Uh, I don't know. I didn't research on that I far. I think it is. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong. But If it is, it's going to haul. Look at these wing walks. 170 mile an hour if it has a Havoc motor. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Mock. Dude, it feels balanced actually really well with the uh, 4,000 in it. I think 4,000 up to 5,000 is probably the sweet spot. Let's take the bind plug out. Oh, yeah. That's always a good thing. <laughs> Hey, I love how they give you the tag here, yeah, the, lead, uh, the, nice lead. the long lead to get it done. But for a point of reference, there's there's about that much more room back in here. And um, we got a Jetwork 4000 sitting in here. And I love how beefy this front end feels with the foam, like there's a yeah. lot of it. I don't feel like it's really weak up in the nose. And this doesn't have any issues. Did you try cycling? Flaps, ailerons, all that kind of stuff? Everything worked. I, I don't have my flaps hooked up yet because I'm an idiot. But um, that's just my fault. I just haven't got it right. Yeah, it says, uh, let's see. Dave Marshall and Doug uh, said it has the same power system as a Havoc and F4. Okay, yeah. It's going to haul the mail then. Yeah, I bet you, yeah, I bet you it's fast. And usually everything with AS3X flies really well. So, we're messing with the flaps right now. I'm just going to... Can you guys see them? Oh, I mean, this is where they have you doing the travel. Duh. Duh. Flap system. It's a little bit wrong in the manual. Mm -hmm. So it said... What it say? Something different. Okay. Can it so, position zero... 
in the book. Here, let's cover this right now. I don't know if it'll fit a 6,000 in there or not. Later, EQRC. Have See some you good later, burgers. Eric. I got it. I got it. So this addendum probably is what I should have been looking at uh, instead of the book. They said HH said it can handle up to a 7,000. Yep. Really? I think those smart batteries don't weigh a lot ah. is what's up with that. So that's uh, the flaps are all set. And then they say, what, 50% on position one. So we're setting that right now. And then take a look at... We're going to do the elevator right now, too, by the book. So that's 50% for the, the takeoff flaps. And then they say 10% elevator. Okay, cool. Well, let's do it. Watch the elevator. Oh, they mean the other way, certainly. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's got to be. It's got to be. So it's a minus 10. It doesn't say that in the book, y'all. It doesn't say minus 10, but... It definitely needs to be up elevator that you're getting. So then the second position of flaps says 100. Can they see what's going on? Bobby? I think so. Yeah, I think so for the most part. 100. And then the mix is going to be 15%. And guys, that's negative. When you mix this in, Unless I'm completely cracked, which I don't think I am. Um, I remember needing up mix on these with the 90, right? Two seconds. So, you guys, these books are a great point of reference, but there's a lot in them, and sometimes it's easy to miss something. So, here we go. No flaps. And look at the elevator right on the seam where it's supposed to be. Look at that, Bobby. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. I think it might even need a little tiny bit of up trim. Yeah, throw a little bit in there. It's for good measure. Yeah. Looks good. And then, so, now the elevator's going to go up just a little. I see some of you leaving. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. I, I like that. That's a lot of flaps, guys. And then we'll set up our rates later, but... Full flying stab, guys. Don't get yourself in trouble. This gonna be sweet. Don't get yourself in trouble, man. I can't believe this thing. It looks so nice, yeah, guys. Oh, I can't get over it. It's, it's like, like are, are we doing, doing a show, show right now, or are we just like <laughs> gloating, gloating over this thing? Oh, it's gonna. You know what that reminds me of? The T forty five. Yeah. The T forty five really sits down. Yeah. Like yeah, that too. You know. Yeah, that thing's cool. Look at all these scale bits. Man. Some of these dressings obviously are plastic, but the, yeah. the what's doing the work is metal. Yeah. What counts? Right. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let's get back here in front of them. And uh Kevin Farrow says good night. Uh thanks. Ryan and Bobby for taking the time to bring this one to us. Yeah, man, we're going to get Dave's RC. What is going on? Uh, Bledsoe trains, Dave's RC. Yeah, everything works. Dave Marshall, everything works. Flaps, ailerons, uh, verticals, horizontal. Uh, David King, see you later. HTC, gameplay videos, full flying stab. Yes, full flying flat spin. <laughs> uh, Michael Honey, Chuck. Let's see. Hey, one minute left. Up elevator with flaps. Uh, he said uh, the tornado says up elevator with flaps. Question mark. That does not seem right. Most planes need down. Most planes need whatever they need, depending on where the wing is mm -hmm. and how long the fuselage is, where the wing is in relationship, yep. uh, where the flaps are in relationship to the CG oh, yeah. top of the plane, bottom of the plane. Some planes need up. Some planes need down. Um, We've been flying the 90 millimeter F-18, and, and, and unless I'm just completely cracked, um, that thing needed up trim as well. I could be wrong. It's been a minute since I flew it, but it, there's the nose is so long. There's man. video of it. Yeah. All you got to do is watch it yeah. and listen, because we always talk about what's happening. Oh 
I see, Dave. Um, you know what? I'm sure they'll take care of it. How can they not? You know what I mean? If you if he's got a problem with his uh, aircraft, then certainly they'll be taking care of it. I would hope so. Let, yeah, keep always, us posted. They're always good. Keep about us posted. That. I mean, they stand behind their products. I think you just have to you have to approach it right. I, I don't really know. I've not had any problems. So, uh, wing incidents, Michael Honeychuck. Uh, Papa Boozer, thank you for that. Michael Fitzgerald, saw one today at a local hobby shop. You have to see the gear in real life. Absolutely. RC Flyer, nice bonus review, guys. Wait till we fly it. Both of us are going to get our hands on the sticks. Uh, we're going to take it out with the – got to fix the 70. I had oh, two yeah. of the 70-millimeter ones. I sold the good one. I have one to fix. Um, and then my 90s in good shape, so we'll take, we'll take them both out and, uh, and show you guys what they look like next to each other f22 needed a little up with full flaps yeah man you never know it just depends on the plane i'll have to watch my own video on f18 and remember what i did i mean i could look it up in the manual right now you guys want to know you want to know on the free wing manual what it says to do because it's an f18 they're going to be very similar oh yeah for sure um let me look that up real fast see you papa Boo. the maiden is as soon as possible my goodness let's see And maybe it even says in this book, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't look. Well, it did say, but I think those m might be incorrect. You know what I mean, Dennis Farley? <laughs> Not likely. I'm just gonna make sure that he does his pre-flight. Not likely. <laughs> Let's see. We're gonna look at the manual here on this guy, um, and verify this. It was up 5%. Yeah, Mike, up 5% on the big dog, on the 90. Support, that should be the manual, right? Let's go. There we go. <laughs> I want to see it for myself really fast, too. Huh. <laughs> Dave Marshall says the maiden is tomorrow morning after these two clowns call in sick. <coughs> that would be nice. All right, I'm on my phone looking at this little tiny manual. Uh, holy moly. Does it? Holy smokes. It's definitely up on the free wing up to 8%. I, I go with that. That's what I thought anyway. Yeah, for sure. So make sure you're, you're doing that. If you just go with the manual, it's going to tell you uh, the number, but it may not have the correct annotation for positive or negative you know most of the jets i've flown thank I, you john i come to find that the further the wing sits back it's usually upward if the wing sits further forward it's usually downward elevator yeah it's kind of odd it. but it's i can believe it because uh, we were talking about a sea fury the other day you know yeah. uh, you drop the flaps on a sea fury and the nose comes up that son of a gun yeah. wants to wallow around in the stall um, but but some some planes don't do that. So it's not all one size fits all on these planes. There's so many things that come into play that Man. you really just have to do what's right. Dave's RC made fresh guac. That's one of my favorites. Wow. It goes brown really quick. Yeah, it does. That's why you got to eat it faster. Guac. 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 Some guac. Guac. <laughs> So it looks like there's a little bit of up trim at neutral. Look at this, elevator center position. So the flash mark might be a little bit down from the flash mark on the uh, fuselage. Mm -hmm. We we'll bought that even right now. Yeah, we'll give it a little more. If it doesn't come unstuck, well, you know that's why, right? Mm -hmm. Pilots, we're going to wrap it. 10.04, uh, this was a cool one to squeeze it in. Uh, Randy, thanks. Hope it goes well on the Maiden, not the Havoc. Um, jalapenos and onions from the garden. Get it, Dave's RC. <laughs> Run it with no flat mix and fly it like a real plane. Manage the angle of attack with speed. Dave Marshall, I enjoy flying airplanes, and I don't like to fly them counterintuitive, what feels counterintuitive to me. 
if a plane requires me to push down stick on approach to keep from the nose coming up too much, I'm mixing it out. It's it's counterintuitive to holding it off, which is my favorite part of landing, is holding it off. Yep. Holding the yep. nose off. Set the attitude, right, and, and push through with throttle and manage your descent angle and all that stuff. Yep. Yes. But I'm not going to give myself extra work if I'm smart enough to mix it out. I know what I want out of my planes, whether they're props or oh, yeah. um, jets, and so we'll tweak them. So we're going with this as a point of reference. Yep. It's going to need a little less or a little more. Man, if the radios can do it, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, Guniak said, your burner is on the way, boys. Sweet. Yes. We do have a burner coming for this one uh, as well from Guniak, ladies and gentlemen. Cannot wait. That'll be nice. No flaperons? Nah, not with this one because it's got its own set of flaps. I think a lot of times flaperons happen on jets when they maybe don't have flaps, and so you want something to help slow it down. And like on an F-16, if you do flaperons, you usually need a bunch of up elevator. Mm -hmm. And if you don't mix it in and you're flying around on low rate, you're going to run out yeah. of something, either authority or speed. Yeah, get in trouble either way. Fred Barron says, shoot me your address, Dave. He wants some guacamole. Lessen the <laughs> workload, Bill Shepard. Absolutely. David Wilson, all you guys who are new to the channel, thanks for coming by. We do this kind of stuff all the time. Um, we're going to roll. See you guys on Saturday. Stay tuned on um, the, the channel and hit us on social for all things Pilot Ryan Media. We got our hands in a bunch of stuff. Go to pilotryanmedia.com and you can get around there to everything. You guys know the drill. Yep. Should be a lot coming this week, too. You know the drill. And the whole reason I did PilotRyanMedia.com is so I don't have to say this thing and that thing and this thing and that thing and this and this and this and that. It's all at one place for you guys. Thank you so much, everybody. See you on social. And uh, another show on Saturday where we got another, you know, new one to yeah. us um, <laughs> that uh, maybe hadn't had a light shine on it for a while. And it looks like a team up with our buddies, the Boozers. So uh, check it out, guys. We're going to end it. We're going to roll in five. Hanger rats forever. Three you later. You're too good to be forgotten. In the mortal words of Captain Mike, stick them, monkey pants. <laughs>